Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick load board video while I sit here at the loves waiting to get a wheel seal fixed. Seems to be some confusion. I get so many questions. I thought I was explaining it correctly, but apparently not. Um, you give up 25% of line haul and extra stop pay only. You get all the fuel surcharge, tarping, and any other charges that go with the load. But that seems to confuse people in these videos and what they're doing is they see that 338 a mile or that 2750 and they're going, okay, so 2750, I get 75%. Unless you got a driver manager, then you gotta give up 30%. I'd recommend not getting a driver manager. Um, I know they'll make some of you if you're brand new for 90 days, but as soon as you can, get rid of them. Because if you can't do this on your own, you're just not ready to be an owner-operator. So that's 2062.50 if you do it that way. And then if you do the mileage, 338. You're going to think you're only getting 253, but that's not what you're getting. So remember those numbers. 2062.50 and 253 and a half a mile. So we'll just make it 253. What you need to do, and you can do it from the front page here, but I'm going to open it up to show you how they break it out. Now, these five intern stops, they used to just do $50 a stop. So it would say stop pay 250 bucks. But they don't do that anymore i searched the load board for a while here trying to find it they don't break it out they just put it in the line haul which is fine because they're still going to take 25 percent of it whether it's in the line haul or broke out so it's all all the same but um let me show you how this works because uh what you're looking at on the front page and you got to get quick at this when you're looking through loads 228431 that's what they're going to take 25% of. The difference is 490 something bucks maybe and fuel that they won't touch. So I'm going to open this. I'll have to edit the number out, uh, but I'm going to do it for you guys. That way hopefully this will clear this up and when I get all these questions I can just copy and paste instead of having to type it out 5 times a week. So I'm going to open this load, move that number up. So I can edit that and then get it off the screen. So Bush Hog, this is going to list all five stops. But they've rolled the stop pay into the line haul. And I don't want to go too far. Oh, okay, I'll have to edit that out a little bit, I guess. So the line haul is $22.84. The fuel surcharge right below it is $465.69. You get 100% of the fuel surcharge. That all goes to you doesn't go to your fuel car that's not how it works you don't they don't just say okay you can only put 465 dollars in your tank no that comes on your settlement so the correct way to figure this is 228431 22 what did i just say i'm kind of tired guys 228431 84.31 you're gonna do you get 75 they take 25 17 13 23 then you're going to add 465 69 plus 465.69 means you're going to get 21 78 92 not 2062.50 so that's a difference of 116 dollars and some change roughly so uh, that's uh, a difference and the further the runs are the more the money the runs are the bigger that number gets. Now, if we divide this by, how many miles was this? Let's go back up and try to keep the phone number out slowly, just till I get to the mileage. Eight hundred and fourteen miles. Eight hundred and fourteen means you're going to get two sixty-seven, six eight, blah 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 blah. Not 253, so that's a difference of 14, 15 cents. Okay, so that's how you figure these runs. All right, and you can do it right from the front page. We'll just do the next one. It's the same thing. We'll just do the mileage. You don't do 380 
at 75%, right? Well, 3.80 times 0.75. You'd be thinking you only get 285. Well, that's not what you get. You get, um, so 871. Uh, so that's 130, 140, 150 in fuel. I'm just going to round these numbers. So 871.10, 8, 7, 1.10 times 0.75, 653 plus 150 fuel, 803. And how many miles was it? Uh, 270 miles. Divided by 270. You're actually going to get 297. Okay? Not the 2 whatever it was a minute ago. Alright guys, I hope this helps. Any questions, ask me in the comments and I'll do my best to try to explain it some more. But basically, as you go through these loads, line haul 942 on that one. They're only taking 25% of that. The difference between 1147 and 942 is the fuel surcharge, and you get 100% of that. All right, I'm going to see if I'm moving up in line here. All right, man. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Bye now.